You can't order a poem like you order a taco. Walk up the counter and say, I'll take two, and expect it to be handed back to you on a shiny plate. Still, I like your spirit. Anyone who says, here's my address, write me a poem, deserves something in reply. So I'll tell you a secret instead. Poems hide. In the bottom of our shoes, they're sleeping. There are the po shadows drifting across our ceilings the moment before we wake up. What we have to do is live in a way that lets us find them. Once I knew a man who gave his wife two skunks for a valentine. He couldn't understand why she was crying. I thought they had such beautiful eyes. And he was serious. He was a serious man who lived in a serious way. Nothing was ugly just because the word said so. He really liked those skunks, so he reinvented them as valentines and they became beautiful. At least to him and the poems that had been hiding, in the eyes of the skunks for a century crawled out and curled up at his feet. Maybe if we reinvent anything life gives us, then we might find poems. Check your garage, the odd sock in your drawer. The person you almost like, but not quite. And let me know. The first reason why this poem should move on to the next round is because its lesson. Its lesson is that just because the world tells you you're supposed to do this or that, like you're not supposed to have skunks for valentines, doesn't mean you have to. That's why this poem's also in free verse. This poem should advance to the next round because on the first line it says you can't order a poem like you order a taco and by that it means that poem is very valuable and priceless. The poem should advance to the next round because the poems contain strong connotations as in drifting, shadows, Secret, 